Hello guys, and well, today I have some really sad news for all of you Jolt fans. Well, basically yesterday, I uploaded a video talking about the possibility that Jolt could be dead, because in the TF wiki, it, it's pretty much stated that Jolt's head can be seen in the junkyard, but so far I have seen like no images of Jolt's head or anything, so that's why I was saying that it could be a 50-50, but yesterday, this guy Felipe Ribada Neri, yeah, I hope I, I hope I said that right. I probably butchered that. Thanks a lot, man, for your comment and a uh, special shout out to him. He sent me to this old guy's channel called um Yosu C5, and basically his entire channel is like mine or Transformers channel, but it's in Spanish. Now, in one of his videos, you can appreciate this lovely image over here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we all saw this scene on the movie. Where Willie is looking at uh, the Autobot dating site, and apparently that's the scene where we can see Joel's head in the background. Like it's really in the background. And here, from the Transformers database, database, I, I think I don't know. You can see what it looks to be a Decepticon head. I'm not really sure who that belongs to. And this is Joel's head. Now this is confirm Joel's head. Here you can see a side by side comparison. They have the same blue color. The head's pretty much the same. The only difference would be that, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. I mean, look at his head. It looks like his eyes were taking out. It, it just looks so hideous what happened to him. It's like his entire face just got sunk in or something. I don't know. And I'm really curious to find out how did he actually die? Was it humans? Was it Decepticons? And on top of that, why are they keeping his head in there? Why not just bury the head? It, it's, it's kind of messed up to have one of your friend's heads just lying out there in the junkyard. But now some people have been pointing that probably the reason why, you know, the supposed iron high head and the jolt head are in the junkyard is because K was trying to fix them to see if he can, you know, transfer them to another body and maybe have them to be alive again. And now I have to say that it is possible, but then again. Galvatron is not really Megatron. He has the mind of Megatron, but the real Megatron's dead. Like his spark is gone. Like his memories, everything, the brain, memories, consciousness, that kind of stuff. And the brain kind of keeps your memories, you know, your functionality, that kind of stuff, making Galvatron a shell. He's kind of like a shell of what he once was. And even if let's say K was trying to fix Ironhide and Joel, like trying to revive them, without the Matrix and without their sparks, there wouldn't be Joel, there wouldn't be Ironhide, and I doubt it at this point that they, there's a chance that they could come back. Just because, look at them, does it look like this guy could come back from the dead? No. I still find it really disturbing why they're keeping those heads in there, and why would he keep a Decepticon head in there? That doesn't make sense, and next to an Autobot head. I just don't think we're gonna see Jolt ever again. This is like the last image we're gonna see of Jolt. But yeah guys, it's truly a really sad day now that we know that Jolt won't be coming back. So that means that Mirage and Sideswipe are the only two all of us that we don't really know what happened to them. And Chromia of course. Who could forget about Chromia? But anyways guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you guys believe that Joel could come back? Do you guys think he's dead? And comment down below what could be the reason behind having all these heads just lying around in the junkyard. This is a Decepticon head, so he's just keeping so Kate's not only keeping all of our heads around, but he's also keeping Decepticon heads around. Yeah, and we do know this is a Decepticon since you can see all the insect like features, so it's obviously a Decepticon. So that's it for this video guys, hopefully you guys enjoy and R.I.P. Jolt, rest in peace man. At least we finally ended the chapter of Jolt.